Hi everyone, welcome to this part of the tutorial, which is the first part of course, and we are going to be creating a PS5 game controller. But just before I begin, I just want to say please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video so I can be encouraged to make more of it. Okay, so let's begin by first of all saving the work because it's always a good practice to save your work, give it a name before you do whatever you have to do. So let's do that by pressing Ctrl S. And I'm going to name mine as PS5 controller. Okay, with that done, let's load in our reference images. So let's begin with the front view. I'm going to press one on the numpad to go to my front view. And with shift A, come over to image and choose reference. And find yours in whatever folder you saved it to. Just before you load that in, let's uncheck this align to view box here and choose your reference image. Okay, I want to spin these on the X axis by 90 degrees. So type in RX 90. Seeing these to be the front part of the controller, you can see it's upside down. So let's get it facing the right way up by spinning it on the Y axis 180 degrees. So type in RY. 180 and I want to apply a few settings to this image so come over to the picture icon here let's check this opacity box and type in here 0.5 let's uncheck perspective and in the side options here let's select front because we only want to be seeing these in our front view and not both our front and back view so we don't get confused later on okay Let's bring this down like this till these buttons are on the x-axis line like this. So with that done, let's go to our back view with control and one on the numpad and shift A and load in the same reference image. Spin it on the x also by 90 degrees. Let's apply those same settings. So check opacity, type in here 0.5 on check perspective. In the side options here, this time let's select back. And this is the back of our controller. So let's bring that down also till the buttons here are also on the X axis line like this. Okay, let's go to our side view with three on the numpad, shift A, load in the same reference and let's spin this on the y axis ry by 90 degrees and on the x axis by 180 degrees so rx 180 and let's check opacity 0.5 on check perspective let's grab these with g up here making sure the buttons are also on the line which is the y-axis line like this okay and the last reference i would like to add will be the top view reference image so press 7 on your numpad to go to top view shift a select reference and load that in and let's spin these on the z-axis by a 180 degrees so we get it facing the opposite side so type in r z 180 check opacity 0.5 and on check perspective okay so with our references loaded in I still want to align them well so we get an accurate and good model so let's go to front view and I'm gonna add a cube so with shift a let's come to mesh and choose cube go to wireframe with shift Z and let's move this cube up here Till the bottom part of it is on the x-axis line like this okay let's go to edit mode and select these top vertices let's bring them down till it's on the joysticks like this let's go to object mode and you can see the space here and the space over here are not the same. This space 
is way much smaller compared to this. So let's balance that by selecting the front view reference and sliding that on the X axis. I'm going to eyeball that to have equal or almost equal spaces on both sides. Okay. All right. So let's go to our back view and do the same thing. So select the back view reference image with GX. Let's eyeball that to have equal spaces. All right, let's go to our, okay, before we go to side view, let's select this cube. Go to edit mode, press A to select everything. And I'm gonna scale these on the X axis. So press S and X to scale these till the cube touches both sides of the controller. Okay, let's go to side view, select these vertices here. And on the Y axis, I'm going to move that this way till it touches the back of the controller. Let's select the front vertices also and move that till it touches the front part of the controller like that. And the last image I want to deal with will be the top view reference image. So let's go to our top view, go to object mode and let's select the top view reference image. And I'm going to move these on the Y axis till the controller is perfectly inside the cube. Like this. Let's also slide that on the X axis to balance the spaces on both sides. Okay. So with everything set up now, I want to hide this cube because we don't need it anymore, at least for now. So let's select that and press H to hide it. Go to front view and I'm going to add in a plane. So with shift A, come over to mesh and choose plane. Go to edit mode and with everything selected, I'm going to press M and choose at center to merge all the vertices at the center of the plane. So let's go to our front view and with G, I'm going to grab that single vertex over here. Let's go to our top view, move that along the Y axis here. And just before I continue, I want to um, add in a mirror modifier to this vertex to mirror it to the opposite side of the controller. So we don't have to model both sides twice. So come over to the modifiers tab here and choose add modifier let's select mirror okay so you can see this vertex has been mirrored to this other side here let's enable clipping and i'm going to extrude this here and extrude another here let's go to front view selecting these two vertices i'm going to bring them down Select these also. Let's bring that down. Let's bring this down a bit more. Okay. Let's select this vertex and extrude one here. And extrude another here. Go to front view. Let's move that down. Let's select these and also bring it down. Select these also and let's extrude one here. Go to top view and let's move that slightly forward like this. Okay, go to front view. Let's extrude one here to this point and extrude another till it clips at the middle here. Go to top view and let's move that forward slightly. Select these and let's also move that forward. And I'm going to select this vertex. Let's extrude one here. And extrude one also to this point. 
and finally let's extrude the last one till it clips at the middle here and I'm gonna bring that back like this and select these also let's move that back okay let's go to our front view select all these three vertices and let's move those up like this okay so let me load in an actual picture of the controller so we get to see how this part looks like exactly so let me do that quickly okay so this is the part we are creating now so you can see how it's looking let's continue I'm gonna select this vertex or oh, let me select these and let's extrude one here and I'm gonna select these two and press F to fill Let's select these also. Bring your mouse cursor over here and press F to fill like these. And if yours isn't filling this way, you need to activate an add-on. So come over to Edit Preferences and in the search bar here, type in F2. And you'll find this add-on called Mesh F2. So just check this box to activate it and you should be good to go. Okay, so let's continue. I'm gonna select this vertex and press F to fill it here till it clips there okay select these also press F to fill let's align that properly select these press F to fill select these F to fill select these also F to fill just align it well Fill that and fill that there. Okay, so I'm gonna select this vertex and this vertex and just press F continuously till it fills to the end here. Let's just slide these in place. Okay. And what I want to do next, let's select this vertex and select these and press M, choose at last. And let's select these vertex and with control, let's select this last one here and slide those down like these. Okay. These needs to come back a bit. So on the Y, let's move that like this. And let's slide it down slightly. Okay. All right, let me go to object mode, right click and shade smooth that. And let's add in a subdivision surface to this to smooth out everything. So come over to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface. And let's increase that to 2. All right. Okay, so go to edit mode. Press A to select everything. And E to extrude. Right click to cancel that extrusion. And with Alt and S, I'm going to move my mouse downwards. Or let's move it upwards instead to bring that part like these, not too much. And let's go to edge selection mode. And with Alt and left click, select these edges. Shift Alt, left click, let's select these edges. The same thing with these, select these and these. And let's bevel these with Control B. And let's add a few segments to that. Okay. So let me come here for you to see. You can see it has three segments. And you can copy the width here if you want to have the same thing I have here. Okay. Let's go to our side view. 
back into edit mode let's go to vertex selection go to wireframe and let's select all these vertices move those up here select these also here okay I think that is looking cool we have the same thing here all right okay so I want to bring the first part to an end because I want to keep this um, series very short I don't want to extend it too much because uh, this controller is very very hard and tedious to make so I want to keep everything simple so we understand the basics of each steps okay so the next part we're going to be creating these handle part here where you have to hold which is this part so we're going to be creating all these parts here and see how we can extend it downwards as well so thanks for following along to this point and see you in the next part